So we are going to start thermal forming. Step number three, and it's we're going to start with the buds. So we're going to heat the center part and just make a little crease. Make sure it's very, very right in the middle. Make sure you got the painted to the outside. And then this is the simplest thing ever. We're going to heat up one side and make it a little bit round. And then you're going to heat the other side and make it a little bit round. Because what we're going to do is we're going to glue the edges and this is a little bit. And this is the top part of the, uh, and that's it. It's so easy. It's easy peasy. So we're going to go for number two. You may want to, when you crease it, kind of like bend it down so it looks a little bit more you know, like a little bent out beam like that. And then you do this, this side, and you just make a little, round it up a little bit. And then on the other side, and you round it up a little bit. You may want to push this little tip a lot, and that's how it's going to close up. Very simple. Thermal form the center, fold it, and you go like that. And then one side. Like that. And then the other side. Like that. Easy peasy. You got your three little small ones. We're going to go with the next one. We close it up. We twist it a little bit down. You know, make sure you get your crease really, really well marked because that's the uniqueness. So you see how it's a little bit curved? And then we do the same little thing. We make this little rounded so it can close and look like a little bean. And this is the cutest little thing. And there we go. We got our little... the center and then we want to twist it down so it can look a little bit you know like curved like the top part of, um, of the blue bonnet so we're going to thermal form this one and thermal form this one So we're going to close it up, make sure the color's on the out, outer edges. And we're just going to make it a little bit down. And then you're going to turn it into a little bean. Like um, magic bean stock. So it's going to close like that. It's going to be so cute. And we're going to go with these other next six ones. And we do the exact same thing. We press this down. And then we keep one side up. And we press. So it can close properly right here when we close it up. So you just press it like that. And then we make the right little round with your fingers. I don't know if you can see that. Then you press this other one and you got your bean too. And now we're going to press this one down. As down as possible. And this 
one like that. So the bigger your fingers are going to get, um, you know, kind of heat, you know, when, so look at that, how pretty. So that's like the upper part of the, the bud, which is basically like the little crown of the blue bonnet. got the last one. And you've got your 12 blue bonnet buds, white little buds, little crown. And they're just going to look beautiful once we stem them up. So we're gonna to go to the next phase of the project. So here we are now, if you wanna to go to the troubleshooting area, so we are finished painting and you can check what happened. So you can see how we fix these. So we're gonna continue thermal forming. Now this middle flower where we have six, it's going to be done a little bit different. This is going to be the inside. The white is the inside. So we're going to make the fold towards the interior part. And then right here is where we're going to form a little thing towards the outside. Something like that. Now it's a little bit closer than how we're gonna leave the big ones. The big ones will be a little bit more open, but you do want to kind of like stretch this towards the upside like that right here. And then we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna turn it this way and we're gonna put our fingers, stretch our fingers through it like that. And so you have this and this is gonna open like that. We want this to look, we're gonna stretch it out. And this is how your flower looks. So you see how this is stretched out? It's a little bit closed. And here is where you put the little um, bean when it's done. And here is your, look at this, beautiful. So we are going to do the next one. Let me just close this up a little bit more because we want this to be closing on the little bean. Okay, so you can see that, look how pretty that looks. And this is stretched to the back. Now we're gonna do number six. Number two, I'm sorry. So this time, remember, we have the white towards the inside. And then we're gonna stretch this little thing. We're gonna turn it on our back, on the back, and go from the top to the bottom. We want this too. And we're gonna do the other side. Like 
And then right here, we're gonna try to close this up. Close this up. Can you see how that goes? Really pretty. And then we're just going to stretch, open this up and stretch it to the back. And that's the top part of the flower. And I will show you how pretty the little bean is gonna come out through the center. So we've got two. Now these, remember how we had these, these are going to be um, on the six go with these. And we're gonna work on our six middle ones. So again, we fold with the, color, with the painting towards the inside. And then we're going to fold it towards down. And it's totally, I think you will never see a blue bonnet again at the same way after this thermoforming session. So we're gonna stretch a little bit, stretch a little bit, and then point it out, point it out. And that's how it's gonna go. Now we're gonna do the next one. We're gonna go towards the inside. this we're going to try to close this up if you want this a little bit close this is the bottom part and this we're just going to kind of stretch it and then point it you need to put a little bit more heat right at the point you point it out there you go and the bean comes out from here we got four, and then we're gonna do five. So we fold it right through the middle. And then we're going to do the same thing, we stretch it out. So this is kind of where it closes, right? So we got this closes at the bottom, and then we're going to ruffle these two little edges, which is basically just stretch them out. And then this little tip, we just stretch it in a little point like that. And there's your flower. Then we're going to do flower six. We're going to thermal form towards the bottom. I'm going to try to keep these two closed as possible. And we're going to do that little ruffle at the edge, just a little stretch, a little stretch. And right there. And that's where the little bean will come out. So we are going to work on our, these are the large ones. We're gonna work on our middle little beans exactly the same way that we did the previous ones. Basically just like that.
when we close it, we're going to close it like this. this. And this comes out like that. And that's your blue bonnet. It's going to be gorgeous. So we're going to uh, thermoform. Oh, stretch this one. It's going too fast. got your five, about four, this is five, remember to keep the uh, little purple on the outside. are going to go to our last, once we finish this, to our last 12 thermal forming, which is very similar to this one. It's just a little bit different. So we have our six small ones, six beans, six middle ones, six beans, and we're gonna go to our next thermal forming step. So now we will start thermoforming our last 12 flowers. Uh, we have our little 12 beans and the 12 flowers. So we are, it's very, very similar. Now the, the paint, the dark color will be on the outside. So we're gonna do the same thing we did on the other one. But this one is going to be left a little bit more open than this very similar we're going to warm one side and we're going to pull it down like that you're going to see this little thing but now we're going to ruffle all the edges towards the outside we want it this flower is a little bit more open So we don't want it as close as the previous one. Well, actually, this has color on both sides. So you can see this little thing right here. So you see a little bit more open. So we're gonna work on it and make sure we've got this little thing opened up. We're going to ruffle all these little edges here. Make it a little bit, let's see, a little bit more open. This is a little bit twisted. We're going to open this a little bit more, like this one, towards the outside. Because this is a little bit more noticeable. So here is where the bean is going to come out from the center. And this is a little bit more open. So you want to stretch this slope to the outside. You don't you want it a little bit more open like that. See? So it's very similar to the other size. 
but it's more open. I'm going to open it right here. It's a little bit too much to the back. And I'm just going to really point this out. And I'm going to ruffle this little part. When I mean ruffle is we're just going to kind of stretch the edges. And we've got something like this. You see how a little bit different it is from here to here? This one is just like straight and this one is a little bit more ruffled. So we're gonna do, this is one. <laughs> yes, this is, this is a complicated one. But then you kind of get used to it. So we're going to make sure in this rock, in this stretch, we're going to use our complete hand. Instead of sideways, we're going to use our complete hand so we have it more open. more open. Now we ruffle the edges. Out, but you make sure you try to point this little thing up because you can always see in the blue bonnets this little crease so this one is pretty opened up look at that this is a little bit crooked I'm gonna actually didn't do the whole hand here that's why it's kind of closing up so I'm gonna improve it and do the whole hand got that little technique and we're going to ruffle this is the top part and we're just going to improve this little ruffle here and here you see how it's a little bit more open so we've got two now we're going to do the same thing right in the middle very very strong mark very, very strong. And then from top to bottom, our whole hand, we're going to push from top to bottom, making sure it's pretty well open. And then this other side, we're going to do the same thing from top to bottom. And then we're just going to ruffle these little edges up. Basically, it's just stretching them up. see and these are 12 so quite a big flower this one will go up higher than the four feet so this is a deluxe kit and we're going to thermal form from top to bottom from top to bottom right here we're going to fix that little stretch there I don't like that too much there we go I'm just going to close it up 
a little bit. And we're going to make that little tip a little bit more. So I think we got this. I'm going to go so because I don't want this video to be so long. So we've got four. And now these is the exactly same thing. You can actually use, um, I'm going to use a, a um, styrofoam ball just to see how it comes out. And it's very, very simple. You don't have to, you can also stretch it with your hands. It doesn't have to be that perfect. So if we use this little styrofoam ball just to give it the curvature. You can use the heat gun, whichever you prefer. You don't want, although, any wrinkles. So you're going to, okay, there it goes. So we just go like that. I kind of prefer with my hand, personally. But in some flowers, it's a little bit easier like that. Sometimes with balls it gets um, like wrinkled. I don't know if you can see these little wrinkles. So I'm going to go back to my hands, which is how I like it a little bit more. And we're just going to stretch the same circle because we're going to glue the edges to each other just so you can imagine. So you've got your um, little bean and the bean goes out like this through your flower. And that's the um, blue bonnet flower. And we're gonna have lots of those. So how pretty is that? So we're gonna go with our next one and we've got to do 12 and 12. I'm going to stop the recording because it is going to be very heavy and long. And but it is going to be a beautiful part so we can go to the next part. So remember finish your we're going to do one more. Finish your 12 petals. Cuz this is going to be an amazing build. This is going to be a professional build. So we're going to try again, right from the center, one more time, fold, make sure this is very, very marked, and then from the top to the bottom on the back side, because you want to, you're going to push this down and open so it can be a little bit more open. Then we're going to ruffle these edges. So let's just finish all our petals and uh, we are going to go to our next step, which is assembling, wiring every, uh, every piece. So we now have our painted 12 petals, our thinnest 22 gauge wire that comes in your kit. And we are just going to start thermoforming while we wire them at the same time. So you are going to you know, pass it through your heat gun right in the center, and you're gonna make a fold right in the middle, very strong fold, and press it and open it up, making sure this fold 
is close like that because this is where we're going to have where we're going to hide our wire. We're going to stretch this whole tip out and we're going to stretch this other one out too. And then we're going to ruffle the edges. We're just going to stretch them and that's your ruffle like that. We're going to stretch it out. So you got like that and you're going to put your dab of glue, well, like from the almost the whole leaf. So I'm just going to let it slide a little bit. Mm. Cut this little thing out. Because oh, I had so much trouble with this little See how the glue comes out. I think I'm going to change my glue bottle. But it's going to start coming out. So you are going to want to leave like the rounded, they're very similar, but make sure. So I'm putting in some glue in here. And this is where we're going to put in our wire. Make sure it's right at the edge and you hold it from the bottom and you close it. Make sure the wire is hidden. Try to open it like this. So make sure the wire is in the glue and hidden. And there's your leaf. So it looks gorgeous. So we're gonna do second one. So we're gonna heat it right in the middle, fold it, make this really strong, and at the same time, kind of open this up. You don't want it, you want this to be open. You press it against the, the, um, the mat or wherever you're working. And then we're just gonna make sure our little edges are very, very, very pointy. At the same time, closed, but pointy. You see that? And now we're just going to, you know, stretch out the edges to give it that um, leafy feeling. And then we are going to put in our wire. We're gonna put in glue. You, you can use your glue gun. I always use craft glue most of the time. And we're going to put our wire. Hold it from the bottom. Make sure it's clo you're closing it up, right? And you start stretching it down so it's, you make sure it is hidden within the glue. And it opens like that. See, I think I need a little bit more glue there. Because it didn't close up, so you're gonna wanna do that and hold it, twist it down you know, like curve it down so you can make sure the wire is at the edge. And there's your leaf. And then you're gonna do the next one. You're gonna, again, fold it in the middle, warm it. And at the same time, while it's still warm, you wanna do this. You wanna press it down so these part opens up. So that's step one. Step two, we stretch this little point out. And we stretch this little point out. And we 
we're going to glue it. So kind of almost at the very edge. Make sure the glue is pretty good in there. Oh my God. That's the hard part about this type of glue. So we're gonna hold it and twist it down. And this one is gonna, you can see there it's still open, so we're gonna have to put a little bit more glue. And hold it from the bottom. If you are using the 369 glue, that's not, it's not in the kit because you can do it with the uh, glue gun. Just make sure you hold it on the bottom, even with a glue, with a glue gun. Uh, so you can make sure it's pressed properly and it doesn't show, the wire doesn't show. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Fold it down, press it and immediately press it down on a press this very, 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 very tight. And now we're going to make this little tip, make sure it doesn't tear. And if it does tear, you cut it out a little bit more. You know, cause sometimes we press or we stretch a little bit too much, but it doesn't really need too much stretching. So we're gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna hold it here, press it down. And then this is where my fingers get full of glue. And you press it down like that. And you make sure the wire is inside the glue, pressing both sides. And you know what, what we forgot to do? that we can do it afterwards is this, you know, the stretching of the edges, just to give it a more um, natural look, a more leafy look. So we're gonna go number four. No, we're four, we're, I'm gonna do one more and then you all can continue the rest. So it's the same steps, center part, fold fast, and then continue the fold while it's warm and press it down. And then you see right here, the cut didn't come up perfect. So I'm gonna give it a little, make sure I give it pointy. So I'm gonna press it here. That's step two, I'm gonna stretch it a little bit. Press it here, that's step three. And then the edges, we just stretch it out. Just that's it. It doesn't have to be ruffled like some, uh, if you've done other flowers, like you have to really ruffle them up. It's just very simple. So we're gonna do the same thing. Put our glue. Hold it down, twist it, curve it down, holding the the edges like that.
and you are going to continue all your leaves and finish them up and we'll be back on the next step. Okay, so we are going to start. This is definitely one of the most complicated flowers, but it's still easy if we just go slowly by slowly. So I want to repeat, we are going to start wiring and gluing. So you have all your wires. You've got your, this is the 18 and the 14 gauge wires. So the 18, the thinner ones, uh, the 18 gauge wires are going to be for our buds. So that's going, that's how we're going to start. And it's going to be pretty easy. Just to repeat, we've got 12, I didn't get all the ones. Uh, we've got 12 little buds with the 12 wires. We've got six medium, uh, the small flowers with their, well, I'm sorry, the medium flowers with their beans. We've got our six, just want to repeat, six small flowers with their beans. And then we've got our 12 large flowers, okay? So we have everything thermoformed and we are going to start gluing and wiring. So you can use your glue gun or you can get the 369 glue. This uh, is the one we're working. So we're gonna start working on our buds with a thin wire. So it is pretty simple. We're just going to put a little bit of glue and then we're going to close it up, trying to keep like that. So you can see it's kind of, I'm twisting it a little bit and gluing it. And then what the only thing we're going to do is we're just going to glue the little edges to each other, just a dab of glue. And we're going to start closing it up. A little bit too much glue. So we just put the little edge. You can use it just a little bit. And we're going to glue to the other edge, like closing it up. That's it. Easy PC. You see, so you're closing it up. You're closing these little bit beans and the wire is already glued to the, and curved to the little edge. So you're just going to do, oh man, it's coming lots of it. It's coming out of this little box. I think I made the hole too big. Oh, that's not good. Did not like that. So you're just going to do that. And we're just going to close it one with the other. We're just going to close it up. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be closed all the way to the top. You can leave the little part open on the very, very top. So that's kind of how it's going to look. I'm going to try to twist it so it's a little bit open on top and that's it. So we're going to go with the next one. We're going to put a little dab of glue right at the edge and we're going to touch it right there and then we're going to fold it, right? We want this, this cable to because these are going to be like um you see how the blue bonnet on the top part has a, a little curve so we're just going to close it up do the same thing Close it up. And we're going to close it up. Oh boy, that was not good. I'm going to have to repaint that little edge. 
Oh, if that does happen, remember, you see that, what happened to me right there? Well, how do we fix this? You may want to have my heat gun here. You heat it up again, and you just screw it up. Make sure this is properly glued right there. I like my other little bottle better. I need to wait till it gets a little crust here on the bottle so it won't come out so much. And we're just going to repaint that. I'll do it at the end. So here we go on the second one. We're going to go on the third. Because this is a brand new bottle and it's I made two holes on it. You're supposed to just put the needle in it and I overdid it a little bit. So you got to be careful with that if you are using your your 369 glue. So we're just going to oh got to wait till this dries the edge dries up on this glue bottle, but anyway, we're going to do this. And we're just going to hold. I need to make a little for two of them. Gonna wait for the glue to to dry on the edge of this bottle. So remember, if you do have the three six nine glue, just uh, poke it once, because um the bottle once with the needle so it won't come out flushing like this so we've got the third one and we're gonna have here and I got to fix that right there then we're gonna go with the second one we're gonna press from the top And then just close, close it up with the wire right here at the edge. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Close our edges. I'm going to have to put something on the bottle for it to close up a little bit because it's just dripping like crazy. So if you are using your glue gun, let me try with a glue gun better until this dries up. Let me put something on it so it can sort of get up a little bit here. Let me try my glue gun. The only thing I don't like about um, a silicone glue gun is all the little hairs. I, I lose lots of time with those little hairs. No, but it works fine too. You know. We need to get the other one kind of a little bit. I opened it too much. So, so anyway, we're going to close it up. See, these little hairs just, oh, they aggravate me. 
but this is a very special flower. So now here are the little ones. So I'm going to use the glue gun right here, hold it and twist it down. So I'm going to glue right here. Can everybody see? And close it up. And the little hairs. Oh, but can't have everything perfect. So here you go. You have one for one. So I'm going to twist it all the way down, make sure it's glued in the curvature. Make sure you hold it until it's properly glued. And we're going to close it up again. Perfect. close here. These little hairs. So I'm going to get the other six wires from the box because I just have so many boxes that I don't um, remember which one it was in while I'm recording. Got it. So here we go. Let me stretch them out. got to fix this ball because I'm kind of I like my um, 369 glue it's just kind of but if it doesn't come flushing out right because that is not cool. so we got we are going to close it up Then we're going to the next part. No. Do the next one. And we're going to make sure it's curved right here. all of these and that 
aggravates me. So I should probably go wash my hands before I continue. I just don't want to stop the video. But we've got um, we've got four more to go. So remember, there are small, medium, and large buds. Then we are going to go with the next one. I'm actually going to glue this one to all of them first. See if I can use this one so I can get it, you know, uh, full of glue on the top and it can start working properly. sure you don't get your wires confused because you will need the um, thicker wire for the other the other flowers so we've got 32 flowers very precise flowers for our um, so now they're all curved here so here we go So now we're just going to close them up, this other one. Hopefully we don't get all these little glue on our fingers. by a little, try not to touch the edges so you won't get your fingers like I just did. But, you know, part of the process. The other one, so I'm just going to Are closing them all up so we got all the 12 closed up. We got one more to go. Last one of our 12 buds with our So you've got your 12. So we got our 12 buds. Let's remove all the little hairs and we will go on. We've got our 12 buds finished and wired. Look how pretty. And we are gonna go on our next step. <laughs> 